Jeez. There's a whole team of them coming for me. Shit, this thing cannot shoot very well at all. Dead ahead, dead ahead, dead ahead. Greetings, I am Commander Tyrael, and this is MPK Project 204. The Poti class was the NATO reporting name for this class of anti-submarine warfare corvette built for the Soviet Navy. These vessels were the first class of corvettes constructed by the Soviets not based on the traditional World War II anti-submarine design. The Poti class reversed the trend of smaller ships, being larger than the preceding Kronstadt corvette. This allowed the vessels to mount larger guns than the preceding designs. The Poti class were also the first large Soviet warships to incorporate gas turbines and were the fastest ASW warships ever constructed by them. Corvettes of the Poti class measured 59.4 meters long with a beam of 7.9 meters and a draft of 2 meters, with a standard displacement of 508 tons. The ships were powered by a two-shaft combined diesel and gas propulsion system consisting of two gas turbines creating 30,000 shaft horsepower and two diesel engines creating 8,000 shaft horsepower. The two propellers were mounted in thrust tubes which extended the length of the prop. The gas turbines exhausted through ports in the transom which were used to create extra thrust. The power plant was similar to those found in the SKR-7 or the Merca class. This gave the ships a maximum speed of 38 knots or 70 km per hour. In Soviet service, the corvettes were armed with a single turret comprising of a twin 57mm dual-purpose gun. The guns had 85 degrees of elevation and could fire a 2.8 kilo shell to a range of 6 km. They were also equipped with either twin-mounted or quad-mounted 406mm torpedo tubes for the Soviet Type 40 ASW torpedo. A total of 66 ships were built between 1960 and 1968. In the Soviet Union, the Poti class corvettes were decommissioned by the late 1980s and were replaced in service by the Project 12412 Pauk class corvettes. Bulgaria and Romania also received models of the ship, with Bulgaria receiving six and Romania receiving three. In game, she's a ludicrously powerful ship at battle rating 3.7, and that's simply because she has the RBU 6000, which is an incredibly powerful weapon, and it really has no right being at battle rating 3.7. Um, it can delete every single ship at that rating, and I feel like it probably should be at battle rating 4.0 with the Project 1331M. I think the battle ratings in Navy seem, need to sort of have a cap on the weapon systems and having a coastal spawn, this ship is able to lob RBU-6000 straight into the opposing spawn straight from the start of the battle. It's fast enough to get a frigate spawn and so I think it should probably be pushed out with the destroyers if it's going to stay at this battle rating. That's not to say that she's invincible, she's like a mini SKR. She can't take as much damage as an SKR, and if you hit the front with a large caliber shell, it will detonate the ship. The ship is fairly unremarkable until you get the RBUs. The 57mm has a fairly poor uh, firing arc, and it is you basically have to be broadside to everybody to get decent damage. So when spading this vessel, I recommend going straight for the armor-piercing rounds and working your way to the RBUs. Forget everything else until you get those weapon systems. Once you do, you will be nigh unstoppable. Well, that's enough about the ship itself. Let's jump in and see what she's actually capable of. This is my first game of War Thunder Naval. Please tell me what to do. <laughs> By the way, what is uh, that? 
Is it rockets thing on your your uh, front or? Yeah, that's the rocket. De they're depth charges, <laughs> but they're fired by rockets, so they're very powerful. And they've got oh. a twenty-five kilo warhead. Okay. They're, oh. they're used to hunt submarines, but they can be used to bombard shore and placements as well. We've got enemies oh. on the left. To see our friend is getting killed there. There's a lot of destroyers in this map. Don't shoot at them. <laughs> Your biggest uh, <laughs> strength is stealth. And what what is that? It's when you stay hidden until you torpedo someone. Ooh. So nobody can see me now. They are less likely to see you because you're so small. I think there's an enemy here. Around the corner. Well then, my torpedoes will like the bait. Mm, no, there's no one there. Nope. They must have killed each other. But I have also um, the finding that more people are playing ships than uh, coastal fleets. Yes, that's true. But if you unlock some good coastal boats, you'll be very powerful, like this thing I've got. Yeah. That's like, almost as good as a ship. In the last game, I took out a destroyer with one volley of rockets. <laughs> no. That guy should be pissed then. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I think I got six kills with the rockets. Mm -hmm. You can also reload them. Okay, try and torpedo this guy. He's fairly close to you. And if he sees you, I'll shoot him with rockets. Okay. I'll try. In fact, I'll fire them before you get to him, so that he's surprised. We got him. <laughs> nice. And my, rock, my, 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 my things are still on the way. Oh, you got one. Is it on C point? Yes, yes, yes. There's lots of them. Okay, I'm coming. If my ship is fast enough. Holy moly. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's a lot of dudes. Oh my god. I can't repair everything in time. But get out of the side. Ooh. Oh, I have 9% crew Big. left. There's another guy coming around the point, isn't there? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Here he is. Oh, it's a frigate no. too. Oh, I got him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is high stakes. High stakes gameplay here. Nine percent crew. Yeah, left. man. <laughs> That column just got a rocket to the face hole. Just stick to the shoreline. Okay, I'm, I'm Maybe they won't see me. Here's another one. I'm coming up from behind now. Ooh, I killed someone! You did, good job. Fucking torpedo. They got me. He got revenge. You then. What is on the Charlie? Stop. Oh no, I, it's too bouncy. Too bouncy, too bouncy, we're gonna die. <laughs> You can do it. We believe in you. Your faith will be taken on board. He's heavily damaged. I know, I've got something on my tail though. I'll just try and get this guy, but I don't know if I'll have enough ammo to get the frigate there. His, his guns are doing not what he wants to, so he's a easy target. -y. Yes. I'll defend safe. Okay. I don't know if I did enough damage to him to sink him, but I did. Good solid six hits, I think. Run, if you run to Charlie, I reckon we could win this. Use your smoke, you got someone firing at you, if you've got any. There's one destroyer on Charlie, but he's fairly damaged. I'll just keep you free from the air attack that's coming in. A little booty. A bit rusty on the old on my left. Got him. He got me too. On your left, coming while I'm still alive. Yeah. No, I got shot down. Hey, I got me. You know, if you can just hold on a little bit longer, he's behind you. On your six. On your six. On your six. Small boat. On your six. Uh, three o'clock now, sorry. He's coming through your smoke. They actually did change the gun noises yeah. the planes, too. Ooh. Ooh. Someone sounds like an A-10. Someone tor torpedoed him. Excellent job. Yeah, I did. Don't move. If you stay there, we will win. Oh, they're capturing B. They're yeah. capturing Go. B. <laughs> Go Let's get him. Either way, it's a great game. Yeah, but we need to win. <laughs> We're pirates. We're pirates. We need to win. We're pirates. Uh, yes. That might be an AI. He might just sail out of the cap point. He is. <laughs> oh, it's even better. Come here, look. He didn't even capture it, but we still lose due to ticket leak. Good job, I'm man. I'm second in boats. Rare. See, I told you naval can be fun, especially in a team. 
Yeah, in a team it's fun, but if you're doing yeah, it alone, and, and, and then... Four capture points, man. That's a very good job. Excellent support work.